I have an instructional screencast that I want students to be able to see from my class. And ideally, I'd like to put that either uh, stream it through a website like a course management site, Sakai or Blackboard, or maybe let's say embed the video into a Google site. At very least, I'd want to give them a link to the video. But in order to do any of those things, I need to do what's called hosting the video somewhere, which means I need to find an online place where I can put the video so that when I give students there's a link, there's somewhere the link goes to. Or when I uh, put an embed code into a website, there's somewhere that code goes to so it can see the actual video online. And there's a few different places to host videos. The most popular one maybe would be YouTube. Uh, there's another place, though, that you can host videos, which is Google Drive. And I prefer using Google Drive for a few reasons that we'll get into a bit later. But let me show you how to upload a video to Google Drive and then host the video through your Google Drive account. The great thing about Google Drive is that if you have a University of Delaware email that's udel.edu, you already have access to Google Drive. Or if you're another university that uses Google Apps, your .edu email will probably give you access to Google Drive also. Or you can just use your gmail.com email address. The best way to go to Google Drive is you get into your email and you'll notice that there's a horizontal bar up at the top here. You are going to click on Drive and that's going to open up your Google Drive folder so that you can see all the documents that I've already posted to my Google Drive. Now let's say that I want to get a video up there in order to uh, use Google Drive as a host for that video. <clears throat> I would go to Upload, which is right here, Files, and let's say that I... Um, I'm going to upload a video, ironically enough, that I did previously on hosting with Google Drive. So once it gives me the settings and I approve those, it'll start the upload. Now the video is going to take a little while to upload, not too long, so let me explain some of the virtues of using Google Drive as a host. The first thing is that uh, Google Drive allows you to upload everything from very small videos to very large videos. And the ca same can't be said for, let's say, if you screencast through Jing and you use Jing to host videos. Jing gives you free hosting up to a certain size, but you can't upload very large videos. Jing only gives you a maximum of five minutes per video, and that's pretty much the size of video it can handle. So if you have a bigger video, Google Drive will be able to handle it. Uh, YouTube, I mentioned, is another popular option, but Google Drive has an advantage over YouTube in that YouTube doesn't like to upload videos that are over 15 minutes. You can do it, but it takes a, a little bit of finagling to do that. So if you have a video that's over 15 minutes, you can upload it fairly easily onto Google Drive. In fact, I've, I've uploaded videos that are 30 some minutes to Google Drive with no problem. So as you can see, the upload is complete and the video is showing up right there. So now what we wanna do before we were to get to the point where we embed this the, the video into um, into another uh, website, what we want to do is we'll go to the video itself and uh, notice the image is not showing up because it takes a few minutes for the video to um, actually load up fully to the Google Drive. So it might take two or three more minutes for the video to load up. But in the meanwhile, what we can do is change our share settings. Google has several privacy settings for your uploaded documents. You can either have it privately viewable, which means only you can view it, or selected people that you share with. And uh, if you're going to embed the video somewhere, that's probably not what you want to do, because you need to make sure that anyone who uh, sees the embed code or has a link can actually access the video. So we're going to want to change. And I would recommend one of two settings, either public on the web, which means that the video is publicly viewable on the web, so someone could theoretically do a Google search and find your video. Or you could do anyone with the link, which is a little bit more of a restricted access. So in this case, anyone who has the link can see the video, but if you did a Google search for the video, it would not show up on a Google or a Bing search or what have you. I would prefer public on the web unless you have some reason to really want to restrict access to only people who know about this video and have the link. So I'm going to change my access to public on the web. And from there, it's uh, actually um, pretty easy to do things like embed the video code into another website. So let's say I wanted to go and embed this video into another website. All I would do is go under File and go to embed this video. And here would be the code that I would use. So I would copy this code and I would put it into whatever um, website HTML setting that I have elsewhere. 
and then I could easily embed the video. Or I could just give people the link to the video. So now that this is public on the web, anyone who has this link up here will be able to automatically go to and see the video, of course, once it's loaded up fully. But that, in a nutshell, is how to store your videos and uh, use Google Drive as a host for your videos.